Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Starbound. Uh, so in the last episode, we did some spelunking. We'll talk about that first. It's gone really well. I mean, you can just take a look at my inventory. You know, 113 gold ore is pretty crazy. We got a lot of weapons going on here. Platinum bars. Neon melon seeds. Neon melon seeds. You need two Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, four turtles in time. It's a pretty good game. You should check it out if you haven't already. Um... I don't think I'm necessarily approaching the end of this spelunking trip, but we did hit a snag, uh, and that's, um, that we encountered, unfortunately, let me take out my flashlight here, uh, we encountered, unfortunately, kind of a, uh, a dead end, not in a traditional sense, but in the sense that I really don't want to spend hours and hours mining out, uh, obsidian, which is gonna take a hundred fucking years, so instead, why don't we just make our way, are you mad? You are the maddest, okay. Uh, oh, the fucking st every time that stalagmite tight, etc. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try to find another way down, and it just so happens that there's another one like right here. And it might be better. How did I miss this treasure chest over here? Like this is something that I definitely uh, should have discovered earlier. Not to mention there's a lot of little capsules over here. But yeah, this might be the episode where we end up going back to the surface, whether it's of my volition or not. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. Uh, sweet five copper bars is awesome. Five coal ore, we'll add that to the pile. We have 59, what's the matter? Couldn't have 10 more. And a pathetic wobbler. DPS is nine, which is not very good at all. But we'll destroy this treasure chest. And I, I'm conscious of the fact now that I say treasure chest. Oh, I say it super weirdly, like tre treasure chest. I, I apologize, you know. I am what I am. Um, I am as God made me, sir, but... Uh, Let's put this down here and see if... I Bear the big blue house down there strikes me as probably super friendly, so... It's really gonna hurt me when I end up murdering him just for his delicious meats. But, um... Let's see if we can't mine our way down here and maybe make this better. And, you know, what I'm looking for is just not obsidian. I'm okay with mining my way through cobblestone. I'm okay with going back to the surface in all honesty. Like, that, that would be fine as well. I understand there's, like, staggering amounts of iron around here, but, uh... Again, I, I've, I've gotten my fill of mining for now. And I would much rather uh, th just kind of find a sweet lady to settle down with uh, on the surface. We probably could still use some more coal. We could probably still use some more iron. How much iron do we have in our inventory? 95 is pretty good. I might just mine out this a little bit more here. But I'm conscious of the fact as well that we've been underground so long that maybe people have forgotten what the surface looked like. And I still have to remember my overall goal of, hey, we want to get to another planet at some point, right? We want to explore the uh, the world and the universe around us. We've already explored a lot of this world, actually. We want to explore the universe around us, is what I meant to say there. Uh, can you make scuba gear? I'm underwater so much, I would really like to know. Also, can... Oh, just get the iron and then get out. Okay, get the iron out. Break the wrist, walk away. Break the wrist, walk away. Um... Is there any way for me to possibly, uh, just, like, pour dry sand in here and soak up the water? Because that would be awesome as well, but in the meantime, we'll just mine our way through this cobblestone. And we're going to hope that by going down in a different path here, we actually are going to encounter, uh, some... How, how should I say? Like, like a, a, a gap. A gap, basically. What is this? Is this silver? Free silver on the way down, don't mind if I do. Uh, we'll just leave that one piece of ore there, because that's actually going to make it easier for us to kind of climb back up in the future. But for now, let's kick our way back up to the surface and then get ready to go down. I hear, like, some monsters. Like, ah, real monsters style monsters, not cute and cuddly uh, monsters. Although, I guess ah, real monsters were kind of cute and cuddly in their own way. I really need to get better mining tools. I guess that's what I'm going to work on next, is maybe I'll get, like, an iron pickaxe or something so it's less laborious for me to come down here. And again, we're just kind of mining chunks away, and um, this is actually much faster now for some reason, or it seems like it at least. I go like, there's like a, a give and take. The first layer takes a while, and then the second layer relatively easy. So I can't remember if this is obsidian down here, or if this is just more bedrock. If it is obsidian, I guess I'll try to make my way back to the surface and we'll deposit our... Uh, the ingredients we've made. So I don't want to use my flashlight. Sorry. Uh, we'll deposit the ingredients we've made so far, or the the resources we've gotten so far, and uh, do a little bit more exploration above us as well. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it shouldn't be harder for us to uh, make our way down here. We are getting a little colder though. Uh, shouldn't be harder for us to make our way down here, like to swim back to the surface, because the water level drops with us. So it should always be the same difficulty. Um, let's take a quick flashlight peek. Gold, uh, but no gaps. Okay, we might be coming to the end of our 
little adventure here. I'm pretty sure that I will die on the way back, but look at how many pixels I got down here. This is just crazy. And I understand my temperature is falling as well. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on my sweater already. Mom's pastrami. That might not be the correct lyric. I don't know. It's been a while. Uh, let's just continue mining our way through the gold here. And, uh, you know, rather than break into Whitney Houston's smash hit song from The Bodyguard, uh, I thought maybe I would uh, cease doing that in store. Oh! Okay, we found an, we found a, another cave. Not necessarily a, a saving grace, but better than a Nancy Grace at least. This will allow me to kind of fit my way through here. And it's possible that this is just another cave full of water and this will be my watery grave, Davy Jones locker as it were. Um, but it's also possible that this will be uh, a way for me to actually make some progress and you know remove myself from the deep dark uh, trenches that we've found ourselves caught in here. So that gold took forever to mine. I'm going to come back to the surface, get some oxygen. And just use my flashlight. Okay, we're very close, actually. Uh, but I don't think there's going to be much uh, much safety for me here. And I'm still going to have to, like, constantly leave. Mostly I'm pissed because, like, I really want to make some torches. <laughs> I want to have some light down here except for just the flashlight. But uh, no such luck so far. It's okay, though. This will at least open us up to a new area. And we'll head back to the surface for a little bit of light and take our flashlight out as well. A little bit of air, sorry, and then we'll take our flashlight out. Okay, oh, there is a little bit of a gap down here. So we will be able to, at the very least, throw some torches down. Uh, unless this just floods as a result of me now filling the area with th this water. In which case, basically, fuck me. Oh, what the? There's a shark! The chainsaw shark! Okay, stay at the surface. Bust your way out. Chainsaw shark is real fucking mad. I'm I'm too scared to even talk about what's happening right now. Okay. Torch. Do you see the chainsaw shark? Oh my god, and there's fucking spiders down there and, and poison and oh my god, okay. Um This does appear to be a little bit of a, a safe haven for me for the time being. That did so much damage. Okay, so this is hunting bow territory. No question about it. If I could actually shoot. Oh, that did the trick. How about you? What about you, underwater spider, that I don't want to think about? Un other underwater spider, also gonna die. Okay, that was that was good. That was fine, at least. Um, okay, and we've we found ourselves a uh, a bit of a cave here. We'll see what's. This is the deepest we've ever been, I think. I don't know. I'll have to ask your mother for confirmation on that. <laughs> Classic. Um, Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to mine out a little bit here. It's always nice when you, uh, you know, I thought this expedition was over, but now we continue to find ways to make it go on forever and ever and ever. Do you see how much fucking iron is there? That's like 50 ore. Maybe even more than that, honestly. That's crazy. So we are gonna get as many pixels as possible, because a lot of these are gonna end up being uh, sacrificed on our way back up, I guess. It's the more I get, the, the, the more I lose as well. But, oh, that could have hurt. Let's just set up a platform for ourselves. And good to go. Okay. So, so far, so good. Again, you know, I can't stress enough that this has been the most magnificent mining trip in uh, my young Starbound history. Can, can always get better, though, if you hear me game. Do we have... An, oh, that's not a torch. There might be a better way down over there. Maybe I'll try to mine my way over into that section as soon as I can. Can I walk under this? Yes. So, I think you can walk under, like, the, the uh, crystals that hang, but uh, you can't, like run or you can't jump into them that causes the problem i might as well get this last one i guess here we are probably going to be at uh 2000 pixels maybe by the end of this episode which means that when we die if we die we'll end up losing like 700 i don't even know if i can find my way back to the surface at this point so we are going to crack into this uh underwater ocean here this worries me a lot um because it's not going to drain the water level very much. It did lose my torch, though. And, you know, now that we know that there's underwater enemies that are real pains in the dick, that's that's the principal thing that concerns me. So we're going to flood the cave that we were in a little bit. Uh, it's crazy to me. There must be a ton of water in this, uh, because otherwise uh, it wouldn't still be pouring down here. So I may have just, like, sunk myself here, both literally and figuratively, I suppose. Because now that I see that the water is just not stopping... I'm like, did I accidentally, like, break into an ocean or something like that? Because if so, I'm going to drown in this cave. There's just no way around it. It's going to be like a, a perfect storm type situation. Um, but first things first, we'll, we'll mine our way into the, the surrounding rock. And it still keeps filling up, which is very disconcerting to me. 
Uh, I think I may have made a bit of a mistake here. But I guess what I can do uh, is just take my flashlight out and we'll do a little bit of uh, Echo the Dolphin style exploring here. And by coming down, we should be okay. You know what? The, the easiest and cheesiest way to probably, and many people probably mention this, to get my way back to my ship without dying and losing all those pixels is probably just to, uh, oh, we should get some oxygen. Is probably just to, um, like, quit and reload the game. And that might be uh, the right way to handle it, actually. But we'll do that at the end of this episode if we do it at all. Because for now, um, just in my best interest to kind of survive and, and explore. Because that's still working out very well for us. That, that took damage there like an idiot. That was stupid. Uh, okay, so Flashlight Town down here. This is uh, either Obsidian or Cobblestone. I don't see any gaps, and that's what worries me. So let's take our hammer out here, do a little bit more exploration, and we'll come back to the surface. Some of these things are mad at me. Not all of them, though, thankfully. Uh, and I guess we'll mine a little bit. Um, it's not the way I saw my life going, but uh, I guess we're going to crack our way through here just to see, because I really want to get to the lava level. I know you can get that low. We just haven't had the opportunity yet. Uh, and I don't know if there's, like, any way for me to actually, like, much more safely do this. So I'm just going to burrow my way deep down as I continue to have done. And then we'll head back to the surface. Mostly this is just about me doing some subterranean exploration at this point. Getting pretty hungry. All right, well, you eat a steak, Napoleon. Do we have anything around us? Well, we have minerals, but we already knew that. Let's do a few more kind of, like, little parts of the mining expedition here. And if it ends up not working out, then uh, I'll, I'll end the episode in uh, like 10 minutes and then we'll um, save and reload and be back on our ship and figure out what to do with our newfound riches. We could definitely build a distress beacon if we want to, but uh, do I really want to? <laughs> my, my weapon is super good, but my armor is not really that strong and I don't know if I could, uh, if I could safely take out the enemies that would, uh, that would result from that situation. So, do we have anything around us? Doesn't appear so. We'll come back to the surface for a little bit of oxygen, and then we'll dive down a little bit deeper. Not concerned yet. I'm actually just excited about what whatever like awaits us down here. Although, certainly, it's a long trip uh, down to the bottom, and uh, it's an icy trip. Or should I say, it's a nice trip. See you next fall. And, you know, crack out the real granddad jokes. But in any case, we're going to mine our way down here. Usually, the way it works is it goes like, um, you know, it takes a long time to get through one layer, and then the second layer, and maybe even the third layer go much more quickly as a result of uh, the placement of our weapon here, or of our tool, I guess I should say. Uh, getting kind of close to the danger zone. Let's take out our flashlight. Uh, I see obsidian, but I think I also see like a breach in the obsidian that maybe we can actually make it through. First though, it would be nice to not die. Okay, lucky me. And then we'll dive a little bit deeper down here. And as we go deeper down, I can't sink any faster than this. Is this really a gap? It's hard to tell if it's a gap or if it's just the light being weird, but um, we'll come down here regardless, and it's possible we may be encountering a, a new area here. And maybe that would mean it's a new era as well. Oh, fucking obsidian, yo. Take forever with the order. Seriously. I don't have time for this shit. This is Sisyphusian. I, I totally have time for this shit, by the way. All right, we're going to go back to the surface. Fuck using the flashlight to see downwards for now. Um, you know, there's there's probably some value in having obsidian. I'm, I'm sure that it means lava's nearby, but, uh, man, annoying to do anything with right now. This is totally a gap. There's totally a way down. I, all is not lost. It's going to take me forever to do it, but um, worth it nonetheless. So we're going to dig down just a little bit. And the a very important part here is that I um, don't accidentally fall, because the, I could fall to my death. So we'll just mine through a little bit here. And then we'll go back to the surface for some air. I understand this is a little laborious, but do I sound excited? Because I am excited. We're encountering like a new uh, biome down here, and it was a pain in the ass to get to, so I'm pleased that we managed to make it happen regardless. This is just really relaxing as well. Okay, so first things first, let's put some dirt down here. Just so that after I get through the obsidian, I will live. Because that's a pretty important part of my uh, survival strategy is uh, not killing myself by either drowning or, uh, you know, dropping due to a large fall. Okay. 
Obsidian, if you could crack through at any point here, I would be a happy camper. Oh, we made it? We made it. Okay, this is good. Come back up to the surface. But the, the water should be draining. It doesn't appear to be draining. Oh, I hit the thing. That's okay. But I, I, we've, we've started to... Maybe it's just because there's only like a small aperture right now. Okay, it is. All right, so uh, first things first. Let's get some torches down here. And we are in like a new underwater biome. I could still drown here. Um, but let's get this going like this. And we'll come over here. That is such a relief that I managed to make it into this. I, I feel like I've just been like rejuvenated. Like for a second I was like really getting really claustrophobic in that cave. And now I'm uh, free to kind of move onwards. Yes, I understand there's a lot of coal here. Maybe we will pick up that coal. Because again, that's um, maybe our most useful kind of fuel right now. But... Uh, I'll leave the iron, and again, we can always come back and get it later. But coal is uh, something that you need to have. Because otherwise, you're not going to leave the planet. That isn't really a Kanye West lyric, so normally I'd, I'd be against saying it just on merit. but uh, Or on principle, I should say. But cool, we've uh, now flooded the chamber below us. We're basically just transferring our problems to a later date, and we'll continue with the great spelunking here. Obviously, uh, more torches is necessary. How much coal do we have now? 71. So why don't we make another 40, if you ask me? 20 becomes 40 by way of the kind of coal conversion that we got going on. And we'll keep kind of falling downwards here. And again, lots of minerals. But mostly, like, the minerals are, are second fiddle to what I actually want, which is just, like, sweet new, uh, like, information. Sweet new experiences. You know, you can't take money with you when you go, so... If I can get some joyous kind of environments down here, I would welcome it a great deal. Alright. These enemies scared the shit out of me. That's a block type. Oh, God, okay. That's a block type I've never seen before. Come on, jump, motherfucker. See what happens. Oh. Okay. So I got killed instantly. <laughs> well, okay, that, that solves one problem for me. So there we go. Uh, the expedition, the mining expedition is done for now. Let's get uh, some of our administrative work done now. That was fun. I'm, I'm, you know, not to spoil it. I'm glad it's over because it took forever, but uh, I'm glad we went through it as well. So we've got to do a lot of organization here. Let's put our large old chest down. Sounds like your grandma. And by putting these here, we will be able to heal ourselves up a little bit. I say we should create a farm as well. So, you know, let's, let's go into this chest and we'll put some stuff that we don't need in here. Uh, copper... Wait, we have 71 copper bars. Are th Get out of my house! I don't want to deal with your shit right now. Okay, copper bars, you'll go back in here. I, I, we, we didn't really use like a lot of inventory space there, but I'd still like to uh, minimize it as much as possible. So we'll put our iron bars in here, and our platinum bars. I don't think, I think it's the first platinum bar we've ever gotten. Is it? No, okay, so we'll, what happened to my platinum bars? Oh, they're here in my inventory slot. Okay, I'll put those in there. Um, definitely do not need a second flashlight. I guess we could just send that to trash if we wanted to, but yeah, let's do it. Alright, flashlight's gonna go. I like how it gives you a second to, like, you know, completely stop that if you want to. We have 171 silver ore, 119 gold ore. I almost want to make, like, multiple furnaces here, but anyway, there's our iron bars. We'll put our gold, uh, ore in here next. And we might as well keep our iron for now and let's see if we can make something special on the anvil we could probably make yeah whatever we want is basically what I was getting at um gold pickaxe we need more gold bars for it it only take us eight gold bars but 400 pixels that's actually pr and we need to build a silver pickaxe first I guess um okay well maybe we'll build a silver pickaxe you need a copper pickaxe first okay so we need to get some copper why can't we make a copper pickaxe we don't have any copper we got it in the chest okay so I think we should upgrade our pickaxe as much as possible that might be a terrible decision. I don't know. We have enough resources that I can uh, afford to make awful decisions like that, if you ask me. So let's start. Copper pickaxe is... Excuse me? Sometimes I have trouble, like, parsing the things that I'm looking at here. Copper pickaxe takes us 100 pixels and two copper bars. So now we can make a uh, silver... Well, we need our silver bars first. Okay, let's get our gold bars first. Uh, from the furnace, they should be basically done. Good timing. And we will keep our ore, because you never know when that could come in handy. And we'll just smelt up, uh, we'll, we'll smelt up a couple of silver bars here, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep the whole thing going as we do our next little part here. So, uh, why don't we take our, why can't we make a silver pickaxe? I need eight bars? That's more than I expected. Well, okay, we'll take all these then. 
Uh, we still have, obviously, a lot coming. This might be a waste, but hey, we, um, we can afford to waste it a little bit right now. Uh, so we only have 800 pixels now, and this will take another 400. But now we have a gold pickaxe, and that's pretty awesome. How fast does this work its way through the environment? Faster. Slightly faster is the answer to that question. Kind of want to find some cobblestone and just see uh, if it's demonstrably faster. Yeah, it is. Okay. I I'm pleased with it, nonetheless. This is like as fast as it used to be to mine dirt for us. So now this is going to make cobblestone uh, much less of a challenge. Oh! Oh, okay. That was a genuine scare there. Um, I was actually kind of frightened. It's okay. We'll get inside of our house with our protective door. And the smelting is nearly done. Where's our silver bars? There they are. Okay, so, oh my god, no it's not. There's a dead pixel on my monitor that made me think there were only five bars left. There were actually 50. Um, we could make, you know, iron armor, I guess. I only have 56 iron bars. Is that correct? I want, just want to make sure I haven't popped them into my inventory anywhere else. There's three iron bars here. So we have 59 iron bars. Do I really want to make iron armor, or would I rather use it for something else? Uh, I guess... It's not the worst idea in the world. Are these extra silver? These are platinum bars. These are not platinum bars. Okay. Um, maybe it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to make. We, we obviously have a lot of iron kind of at our disposal, so maybe iron armor is something that we might want to make. Why can't we make it, though? What do you mean I don't have copper greaves? I have copper greaves! I guess I gotta take them off first. Is that sound coming from outside? Oh, it is. Okay, someone's using, like, a saw outside. That was weird. Um... Sure, let's let's start upgrading to iron armor. But first, we'll take all of our silver bars out of here. I would rather make silver armor, honestly, but I think you got to go through the the motions first. So why don't we take off our copper greaves? Uh, let's just start with the breastplate. So we'll make the knave's breastplate. I think it's called. And cool. This is gonna cost us a lot of money, but it will give us more health and armor and heat, I think, as well. And am I already wearing this? It appears that I am. Uh, almost out of pixels. Could I also, like, if I took off my helmet or something, could I make it? I have four few pixels. Or fifty few pixels. Um, what about, how's my iron looking? Mmm. It'd still take twelve iron bars. To, let's try to get the iron pants done. That'll be, like, the last thing we do over the course of this episode. So we'll murder these guys. We need literally four pixels. And, of course, I'm going to need to get more pixels uh, in order to, um, you know, build that distress beacon at some point. But i got to armor myself up first before we do that anyway, so... I think this game is actually going pretty well so far relative to the, the ones that came before it. Okay, first off, we gotta deck this out, obviously, with uh, a little bit of a staircase here. Uh, otherwise, it's just silly. Um, now that that is done... Oop, that's not what I meant to do. I will take off my helmet, and we'll... Because the goggles, I think, make me look kind of silly. And then we'll go to our anvil here, and uh, as a result, we can make a... We can make a basic shield. I already have one of those, though. Knight's Oh, we need 200 for that. I wanted to make the pants. Okay, so we need to take our greaves off. That's fine. We can put our goggles back on. I'm sorry I insulted you, 12 monkeys looking goggles. You, you look fine. Uh, knaves, pants, crafts, and equip, please. All right, so we picked up uh, an awful lot of health as a result of that. And yes, we are indeed wearing those, and I think I'm getting a little stronger, so I'm just going to rest up here. As always, thanks for watching. That was a good episode. Sad that our spelunking has come to an end, but also at the same time, uh, it's hard to be sad, because that was such a good uh, kind of productive trip for us. But as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more Daily Starbound. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.